Yeah, the touchscreen. So I'm not a friend with these touchscreens, and none there is uh, very capable. Boost again. We're gonna boost. Operator badge again. It's funny that you need to choose what kind of badge you're gonna Love use. It. Please wait. Nanda's gonna plug in anyway. Try to try to speed up the process, huh? Interesting. Not bad cable management. Let's see how long it lasts, though. We'll come back next yes, year. It's So it looks like the ramp up has started and we're off. But will this one go above 100 kilowatts? There's a Tesla charging up over there. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. 103 and it's stuck again so I don't know if it's worth paying the boost tariff because it seems to be impossible to go over 100 kilowatts even though we are promised 150 as you can see quite clearly Mont Rouge Paris near Barbès where we just charged we're trying out a second charger. At least, even though parking isn't that easy with this bigger car and these blocks, they're just waiting for you to hit something. And as you can see, the Tesla has hit something very Parisian. This Tesla seems to be using this spot as a cheap parking spot. It is not charging up at all. Again, typical Parisian fashion, and look at these wheels, how damaged they are already. And the door, and this wheel. But this one, it, it isn't charging. I can just, I can just start the session. This plug, probably not even locked. Ooh, the Ami! What is happening at our place? Yeah, we are stuck at 103 kilowatt. So we don't want to pay any fines and after 10 minutes you already pay extra. So we're gonna stop the charge after nine minutes. These RFID readers cannot say that I'm a fan. I don't know what makes this, uh, what I'm doing wrong. And you're just trying to stop the charge, there's an MG over there. Just stopping the charge is a difficult process because you're in France. It worked, 14 and a half kilowatt hours.